where was she at? Why is she still single? You think about these things. She's been out in the streets. Do you love me? I can really move. Do you love What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in for another video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming by. It's the Let's Work channel. It's a working channel. Me and you is the let's. The video is the work. Let's work together. Comment, like, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for coming by. And let's get into the video. All right, today's video is why men are going their own way. Very simple topic. You know, I figure I'll cover this because I haven't, well, in a long time, I haven't seen uh, somebody give like, you know, the updated version and from a guy's perspective. So I'm going to go into the reasons why I think men are going their own way. So let's get into the video. The first reason why men are going their own way is because dating is rigged. Dating is rigged. It is rigged. 80% of women are smashing the top 10% of dudes. Now, I'm not saying this in a like complaining kind of way. Like I'm just saying it as it is. This is how it is. So if you're a guy 20 to 30 or even older and you're not one of the top 10% of dudes, you are getting left with crumbs. Even if you find that attractive girl at a certain age, say you find her at a 28, 30, you know she's been in the streets for the past 10 years. You just know. You know it. You know You know it. It's, it's true. Where was she at? Why is she still single? You think about these things. She's been out in the streets. So, dating is rigged. So, I'm not saying that like, to, like if you're the top 10% of guys, you are getting the best. You are, you're getting the best, the cream of the crop. But if you're in not the top of just 10%, if you're guys like me, I don't believe I'm in the top 10%, but if you guys like me and some other dudes, maybe they're a little younger, you're getting the bottom of the barrel. And even if you get that one girl that you think is attractive and feminine and everything like that, you got to wonder why, what happened to you? You know, what, what's up with your past? You know, were you in Drake and Future's apartment before this? Getting ran through? You think about these things. So dating is rigged. Now, if you're in the top 10%, this doesn't apply to you. But for the average dude, it's rigged. All right, second reason why men are going their own way is because marriage has changed. Remember in the you know, olden days when you used to get mad, when people used to get married, it was like this big thing. You kind of just knew that it was like serious. Both parties were involved and they were going to give it their all. They're going to have, a, you know, have some kids, have a house. And it, you, you just knew it was going to be a long term marriage. Now it's not like that. When I, when I see a couple getting married now, it's almost like now the pressure is on the dude to keep it afloat. And whatever the woman decides to do, if she decides to cheat or she decides to leave or she decides she's unhappy, she could be forgiven. If she decides to have a divorce, she could be forgiven. And marriages are lasting. They're short now. Marriage is not the same as it was. It used to be like this. So like vows meant something. You know what I'm saying? Now it's, it's willy nilly. It's like you're not doing the dishes. I want a divorce. People are not taking them seriously because there's a lot of. A, a girl believes that she has a lot of options on social media. You know, she believes she could go on them dating apps, get it in. You know, she believes that her actions will be forgiven. There's not a lot of accountability and a lot of thing. A lot of pressure is on the guy to keep it to keep it stable, to keep it afloat. You know, she's backed by a uh, social uh, family court. She's backed by family court. She's backed by society. Society is saying, you go, girl. You do whatever it is. So marriage has changed almost. It's almost like, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, it's, it's, it's a lot of effort. I, don't, I feel like it's an, an unbalance of effort because I feel like the guy puts a lot into it. And the girl probably does too, but it's just less pressure on the girl and a lot of pressure on a guy. I mean, the guy, you know, whatever he might do, he might be taking two jobs and just try to work it out and try to, you know, get her the right house and the car and everything like that, you know. So it's just a lot of pressure for a guy. And it, it's all on the guy. If, it, if, if it's a divorce, it's all on the guy's fault. It's never really the girl's fault. So like the marriage has changed. It's not really like back in the day. So you just got to take that in consideration, you know. 
And then again, I want to say this like not as bitter. I'm just saying what I see and how I just what I see. So, I mean, if you I don't know. Third reason why men are going their own way is the ROI, their return on investment. So men feel like the return on investment is low. I'm going to be specific, like say a long term relationship. They feel like their return on investment is low. They feel like they are putting a lot of money into it. They're losing time. They're losing all the what's the point? You know, most most guys will be like, oh, you get to have sex and this and that. Men going their own way don't really care about that. You know, men going their own way is almost about respect more. You know, they want respect and they want to be appreciated more. A lot of dudes that are not like MGTOW or they would call themselves blue pill. Those guys, they would love to do whatever to cater to a woman and bow down to their knees and do whatever it takes for a woman. And they will do anything it takes. And just to get a little bit of pee sleeve at the end of the day, they'll, they'll do it and it will be not a problem. But certain guys are not, they want to be valued. They want to be feel appreciated. So if they feel like they're not getting that, they just feel like it's not a, it's not worth it. It's not a good return on investment. If I'm putting all this time and this energy and I'm getting back crumbs of effort, why? Why even do that? So a poor return, a small return on investment. That's why. Fourth, frustration. Men are frustrated. You know, and then you guys could say, oh, red pill rage is raging, blah, blah. But here's the matter. It is you really going to have some a little bit of rage. I don't care how much you work on yourself. You, If you know the truth, you will have a little bit of of of, of rage or bitterness. A li- just a little. Just, just, uh, just, a, just a little. Just a little bit. You know, not too much. You know, you will have you're frustrated, you know, so you're frustrated with the lies that you've been told your whole life on how to be a good guy, how to be a good man, a good man that praised the Lord Jesus Christ, a good man that just holds the Bible when he goes to sleep, a good man that just picks up the poop from his doggy doggy dog, you know, one of those good guys. But you realize that it was a lie and you're frustrated. You're angry that you've been told lies your whole life. You're angry that you've been fed all this leftist straight down the middle mainstream news type of narrative that hasn't served you at all at all you know i look back on my life before this journey and i was like man i was getting crumb de la crumbs crumbs you know what i'm saying and it's frustrating you know, it's frustrating. So guys are like, man, the hell with it. The hell with it. Every The hell with everything, bro. I'd rather be by myself. And which that leads me to the last thing why men are going their own way is happiness. At the end of the day, a man just wants to be happy. They just want to be happy. So they feel like they they feel like the the best way possible to be happy is by themselves. They will be by themselves. Men could live by themselves and be happy. All they need is like a dog or something. Friends. They could feel happy by themselves. So happiness. Men just feel like, and that's what's crazy about today's society is that is is gotten to that point where men are willing to be alone. Because they're more happier being alone. Isn't that crazy? They're more happier being alone. But that's what it's gotten to. It's gotten to that that point. It's gotten so bad that men don't even want to be with a lady. They'd rather be alone. Alone. So these are the reasons why I feel like men are going their own way. Comment, like, subscribe. And let, let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section. Let me know. Maybe I missed some things, but this is, I just tried to figure out five reasons why I feel like men are going their own way. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. One, one, one out. Peace.